Hello everyone, welcome to FX021. Uh, this is part two of our smoke effect. So in this chapter, I'm gonna cover, still covering the particles. And yeah, let's get started. So last time we have this attribute delete. And uh, I think we delete everything but the velocity. So now we're gonna feed that into the pop network okay so let's dive inside to the pop network let's go to the first frame put our view flag on pop network and dive inside so the pop network is pretty simple actually so i have it's kind of just the basic basics so only i add only a pop wing to just add some noise on the particles and in the pop source node, I emit these amount of particles. Let's reduce it so we can see it in real time. So 5000 and I change the life expectancy to uh, 0 0.3 and the life variance to 0 0.1. So some particle will live to like uh, 0 0.4 and some will be die at 0 0.2 seconds. And yeah, and the attribute uh, <coughs> Uh, attribute I have inherent velocity, but I turn down the velocity a little bit So yeah, and in the pop wing, I just turn on the amplitude. So yeah, so let's see So This is the 5000 particles here. So because our sauce is already very interesting so We don't need to have a very complex setup here to you know to make him so the easy setup will still look very interesting so this is the basic idea of, of it so but we want a lot of points so just add lots of point on the constant birth rate here and it will be good and now <clears throat> let's cache it so create a file cache node here and you know uh you can change the file pass to this uh, dollar job means the project pass and geo folder dollar os is the node name so the geo folder the main pop file cache and uh, your particle file okay so <clears throat> and then after your cache uh, after your simulation is done just load from disk this make sure this is turned on so let's view it. So this is with I think uh, fifty thousand or five hundred thousand. I forgot. But you can uh, have as much as possible. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. I think we can go to the hit D on the viewport and go to uh, go to the guide here I think no yeah go to the geometry here just display particle as uh, pixels so it looks smaller and more like a render uh, so it just looks good and uh, yeah and now we just uh, remove some of the point here because from uh, I think this is too long for the smoke because we're gonna use this as emitter for our smoke but this is already too long we want uh, so after delete we only have the front part and we want our smoke to be that long you know so I don't want my particle to be that that long I want my smoke from the particle to be long enough so I just delete some particles so I think you already pretty familiar with the code here. Uh, a little bit different thing is uh, it's by, because it's particles. So uh, I think it's the same. So it's age divided by life and greater than some threshold. Then we're going to remove some point. Okay. And the age, uh, you can use age. So life is like uh, if your particle can live for four seconds and uh, 
the age is now let's say you are at 24 frame 24 then age is 1 so 1 divided by 4 and and use age divided by life will always get you a float number between 0 and 1 so yeah that's better than you only using the age as your uh, code here because age might be uh, greater than 1 which is not that good so just use h divide by life greater than some threshold and then we're going to remove some point so you can uh, do that and i think our sauce is ready so just create a now here call it out and now we're gonna use these particles as our emitter for our smoke but one more step uh, if you notice my uh, smoke simulation here, I still have uh, the front part here. Uh, the front part here is uh, like uh, smoke and fire. But at the end here, maybe, yeah, you can see some details. It's, it's just particles. So it's a particle with glow. So yeah, we also want to feed that uh, when we render. So so in the object level here uh i just take the uh wait not smoke here uh so for the particle when we have the out node here and i have a render particles so this is what we're gonna render so uh, i have two elements in the same to render one is the smoke so the smoke is the green and the black smoke the green one is like uh, emission and the black is the smoke and another element is the particles at the trails here so the render particles so i just take the uh, using an object merge to take the particles uh, merge in the particles and uh, i I use the same code and uh, remove some of the remove some of the particles. So before it's like this, uh, now it's like this. Okay. And uh, after you remove some of the particles, uh, I just I think it's too flat, so I add some noise on on top of that. So you can see. It move it's moving more like a, you know like a ghost or something like that so before it's 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 a little bit flat and now it's so it's pretty simple uh, just uh, take the position and add a noise and add that on top of the position and feed that into a position so you can use any noise. You can use uh, anti-alias noise. You can use curl noise. It's the same. Just make sure you. You see, it's uh, you can use any noise you want. Uh, I'm using the curl noise. I think it's good. You can promote attribute uh, promote per parameter here. Just tweak the frequency. Uh, frequency amplitude here and to get a result you like and yeah so and then I think what's and here is for the rendering part okay so I have these greenish uh, particles uh, so the code you see here for the p-skill you can write at p-skill equals 0 0.01 then every uh, point will be the same size and also you can just copy my code here it's basically uh, you can write uh, uh, 1 minus h divided by life only so it's like at p scale equals 1 minus at h divided by life I'm gonna comment this the second one here I think this is good enough. You can see if you only got, I'm gonna co comment the color as well. So only the first code will work now. 
and then if you go to your geometry spreadsheet and in attribute here type p skill you can see this p skill is different here 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.48 so every 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 point will have a different size based on the age okay but the uh, i have others uh, so you can also create a, a slider so like i do like a, a times chf something so it's a slider so basically if this number times something you're going to control the overall size of the particles so that's what i do here and you know uh, this part I also have a CH ramp the ramp only takes 0 to 1 value so we use the H divided by life so and 1 minus H divided by life is like kind of a reverse so so the particle will be smaller and smaller when the H uh, increase and we feed that into ramp and give it some curve nice curve here to control but actually I think you can just use uh, p scale equals 0 0.01 or something you like because you know in the final image here you don't actually you don't really see them like uh, it's all been covered in the snow uh, smoke so I'm gonna delete this one and the color here uh, it's also a ramp so just use 1 minus at h divided by life and the the color here you can uh, type whatever you want because it's the name of the ramp here it's called color okay and uh, feed that into cd i think by default you don't get this uh you don't get this uh, color ramp you by default you get a zero to one float ramp let me test so copy the code here Create another Rango node. Let me test. So uh, let me paste code here. Click the icon here. Yeah, by default it's it's called color, but uh, it's actually not. It's, it don't have color. So uh, you need to go to the gear icon here uh, and edit parameter interface. Okay. And once you have that, you can see the color here. So the color here is the one here. So this is what we're gonna change. Uh, now you can see the ramp type is a float. We're gonna change it to color. And apply a set. Now you can see it's a color. You can see our particle already become black. If you change to red, you know, so just remember go to gear icon edit param parameter interface and change the type to color and that's done yeah so let's delete that one yeah and uh yeah that's basically it so oops uh, just changing the p skill and the color here so now let's go to the smoke part For smoke, uh, we first we need to uh, bring the particles. It's the same one we bring into the render particles here. So it's all from the particle here. So we are using the same one, just uh, process it, processes differently. So uh, smoke trail mean here, bring the particles in and uh, as well, we're gonna delete our attribute, but this time we want to keep the age and the life as well so delete everything but not the age life and velocity for velocity we're going to use for our smoke simulation and age and life i'm gonna tell you later so yeah so so to uh, for houdini to generate smoke simulations uh, the point is not enough you need to have some extra attributes on the on this point now you can see only have age life position and velocity attribute and 
for smoke simulation, you need to have uh, density and temperature and also burn. Okay, so density and temperature will generate smoke and the burn attribute will generate fire. So the fire is the, the green one here. We just shade it differently so it doesn't look like fire. But yeah, the, you want the burn attribute at the, at the front and you want these uh, density and temperature at the overall, so all over these points. So, so using a pyro sauce here, uh, change it to, I think, let me type pyro sauce. So by default, it don't have any attribute here. I have density and temperature here. So I think you can tr click on the initialize, change to sauce smoke, then you will have the density and temperature he field. And I just tweak the particle separation here. You can't tell the difference uh, when you change the particle se separation, but you you can tell the difference when you rasterize this attribute. But you just uh, you can change it later. But you can also just copy the value here. So let's delete this one. And now we're gonna assign the burn attribute here. So now we can uh, first of all visualize the density and the, and the temperature attribute here. So now you can see we have the density attribute. Just click on that, it will visualize it. Now you can see it's a subtle change. It become all white. And if we click on the temperature here, it's still all white because the default value is one. So all the density on every point is the same. So if you go to the geometry spreadsheet here, uh, clear the attribute here, we type P scale before, so clear that. Here you see the density here, it's all one. And uh, the temperature here is one as well. So that's why the visualize uh, give us a white color, okay? Now we can uh, do our burn attribute. It's the key part in this tutorial. So, so the burn attribute here, uh, and as well, uh, if you don't want to use pyro sauce node, you can just use a Rango node, just type F at density equals one, F at temperature equals one. It's gonna do the same uh, as the pyro sauce node, okay? So here I'm using an attribute Rango to create our burn, burn attribute, so. So for burn attribute, we can uh, I using the one minus at age divided by life, and feed that into a ramp, and the ramp is gonna be something like this, okay? So we are remapping the values here. So let's create a wrangle here again, and uh, let's copy the code here. And uh, I'm only going to use the y minus h divided by life here. here. Delete this. So now let's go to the geometry spreadsheet. Uh, see the burn attribute have different values. You see. So uh, this is the front part of our simulation. So you can see. So this is the front. So now let's visualize our burn attribute. So burn. Now you can see, right? The burn attribute, uh, let's go to here. You see this icon here, right click on this. You see we are visualizing the burn attribute. Click on the pencil icon here. You see, so this is zero, this is one. This is 0 0.5, so, so in the front of our uh, particle simulation, it will have the most, uh, the burn attribute will be one. And the, at the trail here, it will be uh, zero. And uh, that's exactly what I do here, so that the, only the burn attribute here will have fire and something left behind will not, okay? But, you know, 
this one, when you visualize this, we, I want only the red part here and I want the trail part be all uh, blue. So we don't have any burn attribute at uh, behind. So what I do, so that's what I do because this one gives you a zero to one value here. So I just map that into a ramp here and you see here, you see here what I do is I just, you know, uh, because we can remap the value. So I just change that to this shape. So only the front part, well, this part will have the burn attribute and all the bluish means the burn equals to zero. So I just, if you want to change the look of it, you just uh, slide your slider. So you can see this is the default ones, we, which we only have the one minus at h divided by life. And when we feed that into ramp and change the slider, you see that value becomes zero, 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 zero. And only the front part have this burn attribute. And this is our green fire comes there's this is where our green fire comes from okay and uh, for the density it's the same just uh, multiply uh, so we're still using the the top part will have the most density and times uh custom value so density scale i set that to phi and uh, the density will be different so if we visualize our density we can turn off our burn first and then visualize density see it's slightly different but uh, still so the front part will have the most density here okay so let's turn off the visualization and then i add some noise to a uh, density and temperature so if we visualize the density here something like this then if we add noise see uh, the density is different so for the noise you can just using multiply here bring the density and the temperature here make sure to change that to float because it's a float value and play around with the amplitude element size uh, and you can turn on the animate noise and make sure it's uh, zero to one value okay and uh, yeah, let's turn off the visualization of the, what's this one, it's density, yeah. And turn on the temperature. So you can see, uh, before it's, uh, before the temperature is all white, now you have some variations on them, okay? So turn off that. And uh, yeah, we just, the next, Next step is just volume rasterize this attribute and turn that into smoke simulation because we already have a very interesting sauce here. So the smoke simulation will be, pre be pretty basic and still give us a pretty good result. So I will be covering that in the next chapter. So if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, see you next time.